In each episode, we'll try to answer seven common kid questions in seven minutes. We'll tackle the common and uncommon questions kids often ask. No question is too weird. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Hello, this is 7 to 7. In today's episode, I'm joined by Nathaniel and Matthew. You guys want to say hello? Hi! <laughs> Hi! Before we start today's show, I want to say thank you to our fans who have reached out while we took a break and asked for more episodes. <laughs> it was great hearing from you. The prolonged break was my fault. With COVID-19 affecting so many of us, I had obligations that called my attention in another direction. But we're back and we have the next few episodes planned. I'm particularly excited for another joke episode that I think we'll record next week. Nathaniel, do you have your jokes ready? Um, I forgot, but I'm... You. I did... <laughs> yeah, you'll be ready for next week? Yeah, I probably will. All right. We got a special treat over our break. Listener Jamal Yogis, an award-winning author of three books and listener of 7 and 7, sent us a copy of his first children's book, Mop Rides the Waves of Life. I read it to my boys and we loved it. Jamal wrote the book in hopes of giving his three boys, ages four, six, and eight, the emotional tools he needed as a youngster but didn't have. So for anyone looking for a children's book on mindfulness, I recommend checking out Mop Rides the Waves of Life. We'll drop a link to the book in our show notes. Nathaniel, did do you remember the book? Yeah, I do. Did, what was, did you like it? Yeah. What was your favorite part? All of them. All, all, just all of the, no, no particular favorite part. No. How, oh, actually, I think so. Yeah. One, um, he was underwater meditating in his mind, and the fish said, "Um." Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that was funny. <laughs> yeah. How about you, Matthew? I loved all of them too. You just loved all of yeah. them. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, uh, my two boys loved it, so uh, you should check it out. Nathaniel, should we tra- start today's episode? Yeah. Okay. Today's episode is the. Superhero episode! Alright, buddy, are you ready for the questions? Yeah. Before we start, I have a question. Are these questions from mom? Or did she make them without you knowing the answer, or do you know the answers already? I think she did it without me knowing the answers. Okay, I hope so. Let's find out. Who was the first superhero? Oh, actually, I did this question. I asked him. Well, I feel like I remember him but I forgot his name it was I think it was our man or Superman out there are two our mans um so one our man um had a son um and he wanted to become our man and then he did and then um, I died so there's one out our man. So there's an Iron Man before that with not really costume, just like a hat and a cape, not much color. Okay. Did you say Owl or Our? Our. Our Man. Yeah. Hmm. I, I've never heard of him. Uh, the first superhero was the Phantom. He was created by Lee Falk in the United States in 1936. The Phantom's real name was Kit Walker. He wore a mask and a purple outfit. Superman first appeared in comics in 1938. He's the most famous oldest superhero. He's the one that I'm most familiar with. He's not pretty famous to me. He's not pretty famous? Everyone knows about them, like the normal ones, so they're not that famous. He is. He's not famous to me. I think, yeah, I guess he's fallen out of style. So you you don't know Superman? I do. You do? Yeah. But he's not famous. Yeah. Oh, okay. To me. Um, I know a, a bunch of who's superheroes. The most, who's the most famous superhero you know? Well, to me. I'm guessing... Hmm. I'm not sure. No. Oh, I think I know. Kong Gorilla. Kong Gorilla? Okay. <laughs> uh, who is the first female superhero? Hmm. I don't know. Phantoma was the first female superhero. Phantoma! <laughs> yeah. With superhuman sense. powers uh, to appear in print in Jungle Comic number 2, February 1940. The first masked and costumed superheroine who did not have superhuman powers was the woman in red uh, who appeared in Thrilling Comics number 2, March 1940. Okay. 
and there's also Amanda Waller who doesn't have superpowers. She just um, was able to wear a helmet and take control of a monster thing. It, yeah. She's not a good guy, she's a bad guy. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> uh, today's episode is superhero episode, not the super villain episode. <laughs> I know that. I was just saying. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Uh, who's the <laughs> fastest superhero? Okay. Flash, the Flash. But if you're talking about super villain or hero, Zoom. Zoom is faster than the Flash. Oh, I did not know that. Okay, so for superheroes, yep, Flash is. The fastest superhero from DC Comics, um, he's part of the Justice League. Quicksilver yeah. is the fastest superhero oh, yeah. from Marvel Comics. I know about him. His sister is um, Scarlet Witch. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you're... I read about him in my other um, DC Comics book. I finished both. My, I think my first one was the longest. It might have took me a month to finish. Yeah. No, I think three months. <laughs> it didn't take you three months. Okay, one month. <laughs> yeah. How did Batman and Superman meet? Okay. I'm guessing they were just saving something and they just randomly met. <laughs> I would have guessed the same thing. I didn't know the answer until I read it. So this was a difficult question to answer because there have been many different stories about Batman and Superman meeting for the first time. Um, anyone familiar with comics knows that origin stories sometimes change a little bit. But the first time they appeared in the comic together was in 1941. But in that episode, they had already known each other. The first mention of them meeting is in a 1952 comic titled The Mightiest Team in the World. In this story, Clark Kent and Bruce Wayne are on the same cruise ship where they randomly get roomed together. Lois Lane is in danger because of a fire and they work together to save her. <laughs> yeah, so that's the story. They randomly so they, they that, met on vacation. They just randomly met. Yeah. And we were right. <laughs> I thought, yeah. That makes, that doesn't make much sense. But <laughs> they randomly met. All right. Let me see if you know this one. Wait, actually, I'm going to ask Matthew this one first. Okay. Matthew, who is the strongest superhero? Oh, I know it. Who do you think? Um, Superman. I, that was my first guess. You're, you guess uh, Superman? Uh-huh, that's my first one. Okay, your first one. Well, I'm going to guess a second for backup. Okay, so your backup guess. It's not Bruce Wayne. It's not Crypto, Superman's dog. Crypto's a doggy. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, probably not his dog. Yes, it's not Crypto. But Crypto has defeated a goddess who tried to kill Superman. Oh, wow, you've read more comics than me. It's not a comic. What? It's a movie? No, it's a DC Comics book. Yeah, yeah, D a comic book. Oh, yeah, yeah. That is a comic. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, my second guess, it's not Anti Monitor, that's Super Villain. Alright, how about I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, what do we mean by strongest? Are we talking about just muscle strength? Because then the Hulk is the strongest oh, superhero. Oh, yeah. Um, that was my sure. second guess. Yeah? yeah? The angrier he gets, the stronger he becomes, making his powers potentially limitless. The next strongest is Thor, the god of thun thunder. Yeah. I that should also point out... I should also point out that the movies are a little different from the comic books. They don't make movie Hulk as strong as he is in the comics. Um, Thor actually, um, his other mallet broke, so he asked someone else, a king, to build him another one, and he did, and it's called Stormbreaker, I believe. Mm -hmm. His first hammer, I think, if I remember correctly, it's called Milmier. Milmier? Milmier? Google. No. Well, let's ask Google. Hey, Google, what is the name of Thor's weapon? Mjolnir. According to Wikipedia, Thor number 494. Art by Mike Deodato Jr. Mjolnir, known more formally as Mjolnir, is a fictional magical weapon appearing in American okay, comic books. Okay, Google, stop. 
<laughs> well, that was, I felt like that was going to be a really long answer. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yes, his first, his first uh, weapon, uh, Mjolnir, broke. Yes, and Stormbreaker, I believe. Stormbreaker yeah, that's was the name. replacement weapon. Yeah. Okay. So who is the Justice League? Okay. Mm. Flash, Superman, well... Wait, did I say who's in the Justice League? Or did, what did I say? Uh, the Justice League is a team of superheroes that help save the world. <laughs> <laughs> I, I read about the Justice yeah. League just just the just, just world, I believe. Who is in the Justice League? <laughs> um, well, Flash, Superman, not Batman. No. Okay. Originally, um, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Remember what one looks like but forgot its name? Um, uh, maybe, maybe Flame or whatever her name was. Uh, Originally, when it was first introduced in comics, the Justice League was just Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, The Flash, Green Lantern, Aquaman, and Martian Manhunter. Martian Manhunter, I know him. Yeah. I remember him. They first appeared together in 1960. The Justice League members have changed throughout the years to include many different superheroes from yeah. the DC Universe, like the mm-hmm. Atom, yeah. Black Canary, Captain Marvel, oh, yeah, Cyborg, Green Arrow, The Flash, Green Lantern, Stargirl, and Xantina. Who is in the Avengers? Okay, Avengers? Yeah. Not Superman. Not Superman. No. no um, Black Widow? Yes. Captain Marvel? Yes. Okay, um, Hulk. Hulk? Is he? Uh, I mean, yeah, yes. Yes, okay. Yeah. I think so. Well, I feel like, I feel like Spider-Man. I just feel like it. Yeah, so currently in the com- so it, it's constantly changing. Hmm. Uh, currently in the comics, the Avengers are made up of Captain America, Iron Man, Thor, oh, yeah. She-Hulk, Captain Marvel, Black Panther, Ghost Rider, Blade, Black Widow, and Doctor Strange. Oh, well, I but, know She Hulk. Yeah. It's just a girl Hulk. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but but like you said, there have been other characters in the Avengers, like Ant Man, Hulk, Scarlet Witch, Vision, Invisible Woman, The Thing, Doctor Drood, Machine Man, Moon Dragon. No, it's not the thing, it's the question. Nope. There's a character named oh. The Thing. <laughs> Moon Dragon, Quasar. Quicksilver, Sandman, Sentry Wasp, Spider Woman, and the Living Vampire. Oh yeah, I know Spider Woman. I've never heard of the Living Vampire. Living Vampire? Yeah. I've never heard of it. Um, I also never heard. No? I believe this is so old, but Ultron used to be in the Avengers until it, it turned bad. It, but now there's not Ultron. When there's Vision, there's not Ultron. When there's Ultron, there's not Vision. Because Ultron's Vision and Vision's Ultron. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to take your word for it. I'm, so I've read it. About who, me. Matthew? Who are some of your favorite superheroes or or super villains? Hmm. In case any, in case you guys like bad guy. Wait, um, no, I got this Daryl Hulk. I love it. It's so love cool. Girl? You know who, who's on your shirt right now? Superman, the Flash, the, um, I forgot his name. Green Lantern. The yeah, then Batman. Yeah, Batman. Um, well, this you may not know. like for the questions. He has a mask on that looks exactly like skin. So you'll be like, she has no face on her face. But no, it's a mask. It's a like, it's a mask that looks this exactly su- like this skin. This is a superhero. Yeah. So the super, <laughs> the superhero it looks wears- like he has no face. Wait, okay. On his face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I thought it didn't have a face. I'll have to look it up. I've never seen this. I'm Um, going to look it up right now. Go on. (laughs) One of my favorites is um, Iron Spider, Spider Man. Iron Spider is in Iron Form of Spider Man. I also. I really like Batman, but he's not one of my favorites. I love his story, though. I'm going to tell you his story. Um, So, his parents got dead somehow, I forgot. And he just found her cave, I believe, and grew up there and then he was Batman. 
That's yeah. so. You, so you like you like Batman's origin story a lot? Yeah. yeah that's a pretty good one. Yeah. Um, Sandman is a good guy and a bad guy. There's a good guy and a bad guy Sandman, which I never knew until I read about it. I was like, wait, no, this doesn't make sense. I'm gonna read. Wait, it it doesn't make any sense. So I guess there are two Sandmans. I have a question. I just looked up the superhero with the question, and you're right. <laughs> It looks like he doesn't have a nose. She. Or, she it's a she? Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, well, it's hard to tell because because they don't have a nose, eyes, or face. Oh, yeah. um, is this a mask or? It's a mask. It's a mask. Oh, okay. Where, where did you first see him? Uh, her in, a DC, in one of my DC Comics books. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's all for today's episode of 7 7. Thank you for joining us. We'll be back next week with a joke episode. I'm excited. Can we be back tomorrow? I was, tomorrow? I, I really enjoyed this episode. We, we can. We can yeah, we, can I be there for the whole one again? Yes, we, yeah. can, <laughs> we can record another one tomorrow. Okay. We'll, we'll do the joke one. All right. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'm leaving this chair. And I'll leave this chair also. <laughs> Goodbye, guys. <laughs>